Okay. Okay, so I was asked this wonderful question because uh, uh, I, often, I often talk about integrity and spiritual discernment and also <clears throat> Dr. Hawkins talks about it on his map as well. <clears throat> you, you'll see that's the important line, uh, integrity. Uh, below integrity is, um, you know, one is firmly in the, in the realms of the ego and above integrity, at least at the first level of integrity, one is starting to take responsibility. Um, however, there is another aspect very, very quickly. Addiction. Uh, addiction is a very, very interesting uh, topic. And I do agree with uh, everything I say on this video are my views. You can disagree with it and not, you know, it doesn't have to be yours and you can have your own views. But for me, if, um, and I, I do agree with Hawkins and I do agree with the 12-step literature on this. Once you're, um, once you're um, in addiction, and I, I, would, I would quote what my, my view on what addiction is, is that you've lost the, the spiritual privilege of willpower to uh, stop an addiction. Uh, and it, it, it's different to normal people. Like normal people, uh, normal people like if you've got a drink problem or a donut problem, um, normal people, uh, they've got a relatively good spiritual connection. So they don't eat like you know, if you gave them one biscuit, they wouldn't then eat the whole biscuit pack and then go out and buy another biscuit pack and then do the same thing the next day. And then three months later, they're having seven biscuit packs. And then a year later, they're having 12 biscuit packs. The normal people don't sort of do, do that, you know. I mean, maybe once on Christmas Day, they have an extra potato and they feel a bit stuffed. <laughs> but, but that's, that's not... That's not... That's not... I wouldn't call that being an addict. You know, it's a, it's a different, it's a different <laughs> thing. Okay, and that can happen with donuts. That can happen with drugs. That can happen with alcohol. Uh, there are people who are in serial relationships. There are also people with sex addiction, um, and uh, there's very gambling. There's so many of them uh, that go out there. But when it's addiction, one of the hallmarks with addiction is it's progressive. Yeah. It's progressive. One, and, and the early days, you, you're almost like a normal person in the early days of addiction. So it's like, <clears throat> you know, you have a, you have a, you're starting to drink a bit extra or have a few extra donuts. But you can use your willpower and you say, well, that wasn't really good. I didn't feel that good. And you might go for a few weeks and say, oh, my willpower is working. But, uh, and then you might say, well, I'm not an addict because I can, I can, I can control my drinks and my donuts, whatever it is. Uh, but usually what happens, so it's very, very slow, and, uh, but then after a year or two, it's getting worse, and you can't use your willpower that effectively. And then after a few more years, it's starting to get very, very serious. And you might say, well, I haven't got an alcohol problem, but you're losing friends, your financial condition is going bad, you're starting to get, your health, your health is starting to go down the tube, people don't really like you and you're justifying, and you have a lot of, you know, with addiction you have a lot of self-justification. Well, people just don't understand me, you know. There's nothing wrong with having donuts, you know. I just have a few extra, and I, I don't know what people are talking about. You know, I'm not an addict. I'm not on a park bench eating donuts. I haven't, I've still got a home, and I'm carrying on. So, so that's the thing. So early sleep, but if it's, if there's a sense that your willpower is starting to fail, and it's gradually seem, you seem to be losing the battle, that's early stage addiction, um, then I would say, even if you were, look, people might have been at integrity and having now slipping into addiction, the first stages. So then it's like you have to, you know, but if you're in integrity, you you would, I would recommend taking responsibility for that. I mean, I'm, a, I'm personally a big fan of 12-step groups. I think they're very, very good at helping, but whatever you do, you know, you have, to, you have to get a spiritual solution for it. You know, there, there are 12-step groups for alcohol, drugs, food, sex and love, gambling, uh, whatever it is. And, 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 you know, so many can't mention them all. But, uh, oh, money as well. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'd say. So, that's the thing with addiction. Generally speaking, you could be doing a lot of spiritual work and a lot of self-help but you, you could still have the early stages of addiction starting. 
you know, you could be like reading lots of self-help books, going to a therapist and doing things. And you might still be very, very good and taking responsibility for all your, a lot of areas. But it could be that something is just on the way of starting to creep in. That you, and your ego will want to heavily defend it. It's like, well, you know, like an early stage addiction will say, well, I've got a job. I'm a nice person. You know, I don't know what people are talking about. I'm drinking too much. But, uh, you know, you know, be flagged up and you'll want to not, you want to go into denial around it and say it's not a problem. But things will gradually get worse. So if that's happening, then I would take it. It doesn't necessarily mean, you know, as long as you take responsibility. If it's not, like if you've always been having an extra two donuts and you've been doing that since a child and you're still doing it now and you know it's just a two nut, but it's not been changing, then for me that, that's not really a problem. So addiction is, addiction, that will be addiction. Generally speaking, if people are taking responsibility and are, are, are at integrity, um, then that's okay. So th those would be the ways I, I would figure it out. So it can be very complicated. Some people can be in integrity and have the early stages of addiction, you know, so, and they can seemingly be reading lots of self-help books. But if you're in the early stages, you'll see a progression. I mean, I'm talking about food and alcohol, uh, relationships, you know, uh, relationships is like um, you start to, you're in a relationship, you become very dependent or love addicted to the person and then when a relationship ends either you have to get a relationship so fast, you know, you, otherwise it's like, you know, it's really scary not to be in a relationship. And those people are very, very good at getting into a relationship and they can get into a relationship so fast, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really incredible. I'm, I'm surprised, like, you know, you just broke up and you're in a mm -hmm. relationship already? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's like, I think they're masters of getting into a relationship that, that, that fast. I mean, they must be really, really good at it. So, you know, like, I've never had more than a day, you know, over or whatever, when I was in a relationship again. So, so, you know, if you were to say, so, but then they start to say things like, oh, you know, they then start to, when they get too love addicted, they become suicidal. Or they may magically think, well, this was the one, and I have to get back to this one. So you can see something's going wrong. Um, Anyway, so those are, the, those are the things. Even if you're worried... I mean, the thing with Hawking stuff is that um, you can be at the level of integrity and have aspects of your personality below integrity. You know, because integrity is not a very high level. It's not like you're enlightenment. Like, I can be... Like, if I, was, if I had a donut addiction and I went into a 12-step group and said, I'm willing to do whatever it takes <coughs> to let go of my donut addiction and surrender it to God, I would then be above integrity. But there could still be a lot of aspects of my personality that are not above integrity. You know, so, you know, so that doesn't, it's not very, very high. And that's not a problem because, you know, usually if you're on a spirit, it's usually good if you're doing spiritual work to have um, a mentor or a sponsor or a group or something you can talk to or get reflection from. Um, doing spiritual work on your own, in your room, um, I, because we, we talk about it, it's called blind spots can come in. You know, if you don't go to a group, you haven't got a fellow, you haven't got like a spiritual mentor, you haven't got spiritual buddies. Even if you're really committed to do spiritual work, the ego's a very cunning foe. So even you think, right, well, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to read my Course in Miracle book alone in my room forever. I'm never going to speak to another human being. And, uh, but, you know, your ego will fight for survival. You know, and it will say, I'm doing really, really well, but something can start to lurk and you can't see it. And it can pull you down and you won't know why. So that's why I do recommend groups and, 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 and reflection. Does, does that, is that good? Thank you.